Hello and welcome to Kafka Summit Americas 2021. My name is Israel Ekbo and I am a Cloud Solutions Architect with Microsoft Global Partner Solutions. In my day job, I help customers and partners to build solutions that leverage the Apache Kafka ecosystem to integrate and to run on Microsoft Azure as well as integrate with the Azure ecosystem. So in this particular video, we're going to be covering some of the industry use cases. We're also going to be talking about how to deploy Apache Kafka on Microsoft Azure. And then we're also going to be covering some of the integration opportunities between the Apache Kafka ecosystem and the Microsoft Azure platform solutions and products. So let's get started with the use cases. Some of the use cases we have include customers and partners from the financial services industry, where the customers are using Apache Kafka to build solutions that help their customers run more effectively and to get more bang for their money. Now, we also have uh, IoT use cases, like the ones from Bosch, where Apache Kafka is used to streamline how things run in the, in the business. Then we also have uh, the exporting goods that is using Apache Kafka for inventory management, where things are streamlined and they're able to provide a better customer experience because of what Apache Kafka is able to enable them uh, to do. Um, in terms of all these partners and customers, one of the key differences is that they are switching their architecture and development paradigm from uh, orchestration, where one component is responsible for coordinating all the different uh, flow of data and messages to choreography, where they can just allow the different uh, components to interact with each other with Kafka's backbone and things are much more efficient and easy to deploy and, uh, and maintain. Now, in terms of deployment options, we have two main options. Uh, the first one is fully managed where either Microsoft Azure or a partner like Confluent is fully managing everything for you and you just have to specify how much you need and for how long and then you deploy it and you're ready to go right away. And then we also have the self-managed option where you are kind of either partially or fully responsible for deploying the Apache Kafka ecosystem of products or in your environment on Microsoft Azure. So the two main differences are with the fully managed option, you don't have to do anything. Everything is pretty much ready for you to go off the shelf and you just have to specify how much you need and for how long, and then you can get started. However, with the fully managed, um, with the self-managed option, you are sort of responsible for some of the uh, maintenance and deployment of this particular solution. So that's the key difference between the two of them. It's actually a, a matter of balancing um, between responsibility and control. So how much responsibility do you want to have and how much control do you want to have? Both of them have advantages and disadvantages, but typically some of the customers that we, that we have worked with and most of them go with the fully managed option so that they, are, uh, they can actually focus on their core business and not have to worry about maintaining or having the expertise to run Apache Kafka or Microsoft Azure. So those are the two options. Now, in terms of the fully managed option today, we have the Confluent Cloud integration um, on, on Microsoft Azure. And then we also have the, the Kafka endpoint uh, from um, Azure Event Hubs that also provide functionality for producers and con consumers interacting uh, with um, Event Hubs using the Kafka protocol. So the, the two fully managed options today where you don't have to do anything, but you just provision and get started with running with it is the Confluent Cloud integration on Microsoft Azure and then the Azure uh, event hubs with the Kafka protocol or the Kafka endpoint where um, Kafka producers and Kafka consumers can interact uh, with uh, Azure event hubs using the Kafka protocol um, as if they were inter interacting with Kafka brokers. So those are the two options that are fully managed. In terms of the self-managed options where you have to be responsible uh, for deploying the environment, maintaining it. You also need to have some expertise as to how uh, to configure the environment to, to run successfully. So for that, we have a Confluent platform that can be run on either virtual machines or on the Azure Community Service. And then we also have the Apache Kafka uh, on uh, Azure HD Inside, where you can deploy a Kafka on Azure HD Inside to provide the Kafka brokers, uh, the Zookeeper, 
um, and any of the other components that you need to run your uh, Kafka environment. Now, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is integration opportunities between the Apache Kafka ecosystem and the Microsoft Azure platform solutions and products. So this is very important because uh, with uh, Apache Kafka, we have a component called Kafka Connect. Kafka Connect allows you to bring data from several sources into uh, a Kafka broker. And then from there, you can route these messages or these events into or into different destinations called sinks. So the origin of the messages or the events are called data sources. And we have several connectors that allow you to do that, to bring data from uh, other sources into Kafka. And then from there, we have several connectors that allow you to pull events as they arrive into Kafka and push them into several destinations called sinks. So this is just the uh, summary of the architecture that allows data to flow in from other sources into Kafka and then flow out of Kafka brokers into uh, destinations that we call we call sinks. So if you are interested in some of these uh, opportunities where you can integrate between the Kafka ecosystem and several Azure platform solutions and products and even open source um, uh, data sources and sinks, you can take a look at uh, the link on this um, particular a screen and you and you should be able to see all the opportunities that are available for you to integrate uh, between Microsoft Azure and Apache Kafka on Azure. Now, some of the data sources include things like the Azure D, uh, Cosmos DB connector, where you can stream events that are happening, changes that are happening to documents inside Cosmos DB into Apache Kafka. And then you can now push that out into other destinations. We also have the Debezium connector for Postgres, MySQL, and Microsoft SQL Server that allows you to um, capture changes in real time, all the up updates, the inserts, and the deletes that are happening in your relational data store um, that, that could be Postgres or MySQL or SQL Server into a Kafka. We can also stream changes from um, uh, event hubs, from IoT hub, from Azure Blob Storage, and from Service Bus right into your Kafka brokers. So now, in terms of data things, we have several things where you can pull data out of Apache Kafka into these different destinations. Some of them include Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Cognitive Search, Elastic Search, IoT Hub, Azure Data Lake Store Gen 2, Synapse Analytics, and Azure Functions. So these are just some of the different destinations that we have on Microsoft Azure for you to push data out of your Kafka broker into these systems and platform solutions. Now, if you want to take a look at a comprehensive list of resources, of uh, video tutorials, or blogs and documentations that are available for you to find out how to deploy uh, Apache Kafka on Microsoft Azure, for you to find out how you can integrate between the Azure ecosystem and the Apache Kafka ecosystem, and for you to find out all the different use cases where customers like you and partners like you are building solutions. You can take a look at this particular link and you should find several resources to help you to get started. So I thank you very much for your time and I look forward to meeting with you at Kafka Summit Americas 2021. Thank you very much.